Hi guys! So, this will be the second part of our chain rule topic for derivatives of function. So, uh, dito sa part na to, magsasob lang tayo ng more examples of finding the derivatives of functions using chain rule. So, particularly, we will have these three examples. So, magpapansin nyo, uh, more complicated sila. So, let's start with number one. So, nga pala guys, uh, yung first part ng video natin, uh, in-introduce ko sa inyo yung composite function, yung f of g of x. So, yung outside function, tsaka, g, outside, tsaka inside function. So, f of x outside g of x inside. So, basically, ginamit natin tong formula na to para hanapin yung chain rule ng composite. At, uh, given a function, y, dinocompose natin siya into f of x sa g of x. Tapos, inisa-isa natin hanapin tong f prime of g of x sa g prime of x then times natin. So, ngayon, try natin mag-solve ng uh, hindi na natin i-decompose yung direkta na natin isa-solve para ma-practice din tayo. So, let's start number 1. So, we have y is equal to x plus quantity 5x squared plus 1 all over the quantity 5. So, uh, correction lang pala guys, no? So, try ko pa pala itong lagyan ng exponent na 3. Yan. So, para mas complex siya. So, magiging 3 siya. Yan. So, kung mapapansin nyo siya, guys, uh, composite function siya. Kasi, meron kang inside tsaka outside function. So, gaya nung sinabi ko, solve na rin siya, siya ng wala ng uh, wala ng decomposition. Dinaran natin yung f of x, g of x. So, try natin. So, y prime will be, sa so mapapansin nyo, yung, uh, ang concept ng chain rule ay uh, dinideribative natin yung outside function. Then, kinakapi natin yung uh, inside function. So, meaning, in-evaluate na natin doon. Then, ita times natin sa derivative ng inside function naman. So, in this case, kung uh, series of composite function ka, like this in example, composite function siya, di ba? Tapos yung loob, composite function pa kasi binago nga natin, nagyan naman natin cube tong quantity na to. So, ibig sabihin, dalawang beses tayo mag-chain rule. So, pag ganun, apply lang natin yung concept na unahin natin i-derivative yung outermost function, which is dito yung uh, quantity na to na to the fifth. And then, the times natin sa inside. And then, yung inside naman natin, uh, composite function din. Apply uli natin yung concept na yun. Then, differentiate natin yung outermost. So, which, this is the, this is the part na uh, composite natin sa inside function natin. Ito ang quantity na to na nakakube. And then, evaluate natin sa inside function na to. And then, yung inside function, yan, no longer composite na siya. So, differentiate na lang natin. Times natin sa derivative ng innermost function. So, yun yung concept. Successive differentiation. But, lagi tayong mag start sa outside. Papa, papasok. Okay, so dito, sabi ko nga, yung, innermost, ay yung outermost function natin ay yung quantity na to naka naka sa 5. So, yon yung una nating i-differentiate. So, ang derivative nito to the 5 ay uh, using power formula lang, no? So, 5. Baba natin yung 5 times copy natin yung quantity. Yun yung 
yun yung part na evaluation yung ito yung evaluate natin sa g affects yung inside function so 5 times copy yung inside function na 5 uh, x plus quantity 5 x squared plus 1 quantity cube all over then power formula minus 1 sa so magiging 4 and then times na natin siya sa inside so yung inside ano ano yung derivative ng inside so yung x ay 1 plus yung derivative nito. So, sabi ko nga, composite uli siya. So, apply natin yung chain rule. Ano yung inside, ano yung outside function? Itong quantity na to na naka-cube. So, pag, chain, uh, pag derivative natin siya, power formula again, 3 times, so, copy. Copy natin yung inside. Sunitin natin uli itong formula na to na evaluate natin sa inside. So, ang inside naman natin ngayon ay yung 5x squared plus 1. Then, power formula nga. So, yung 3, mababawasan ng isa, magiging 2. And then, so, yung innermost, yung inner function naman natin this time, yung 5x squared plus 1. So, this time, di na siya composite. So, last uh, step na natin to. Derivative na lang natin tong 5x squared plus 1. So, power formula again, derivative niya ay 10x plus 0. Or, kahit di ko na isulat. So, 10x na lang. So, ayan. So, tapos na tayo. So, uh, ano na lang natin? Simplify na lang natin. So, so 5 times x plus 5x squared plus 1 to the cube to the fourth. And then, itong isa, magiging so, 1 pa rin plus 3 times 10x ay 30 x then copy lang tong 5x squared plus 1 squared yan so i think wala na tayong masisimplify so yun na yung final answer natin kasi hindi naman na natin kailangan to uh, extract this cube and extract this square and extract this whole to the fourth power no so sa chain rule Kaya gumamit tayo noon para hindi na tayo mag-extract ng polynomials or any polynomial na naka sa higher power. So, this will do. This will be our final answer. So, next, number 2 tayo guys. So, yung number 2, we have y is equal to ln of sine of 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. So, guys, na mapapansin nyo, series of chain, uh, chain rule uli ito kasi marami tayong composite function. So, dalawa yung composite function natin. So, una yung outermost, which is yung ln or ln. Then, yung inside function natin na sine of a polynomial, which is a composite ulit. So, series of chain rule ulit gagawin natin. So, finding derivative, y prime will be, so yung inner, uh, outermost function ay ln of this quantity. So, sabihin, derivative natin yung ln. Di ba ang derivative ng ln ay, let's say ln x ay 1 over x. So, gayahin lang natin siya. But this time, yung x ay this whole quantity. Since i-evaluate nga natin yung, fun yung derivative niya sa inside function. Making it untouched. So, copy lang. So, 1 over itong whole function na sine. Sine of 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. Tama? And then, after the outside, the inside. So, the inside is sine of 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. So, differentiate natin siya. So, again, composite nga uli siya. So, let natin yung outside function is the sine. And then, what is the derivative of sine? The derivative of sine is cosine of x. Wherein, hindi lang x siya kasi may quantity tayong polynomial. So, copy natin siya. Copy lang. So, 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. Yan. 
And then, the last part, yung pinaka-innermost function, yung polynomial. So, last step na yun kasi hindi naman na siya composite function, di ba? So, final answer natin will be derivative nito, which is power formula lang din. So, magiging 8x plus 3 plus, derivative niya is 0, so no need to write. So, wag na natin isulat pala. So, yan. Then, uh, simplify lang natin. So, pwede nating i-rewrite to as itong constant, uh, pwedeng sa gilid lang or 8x plus 3. And then, itong trigo, gawin natin siyang uh, fraction. So, cosine of 4x squared plus 3x plus 2 over sine of 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. Yan. So, yan yung final answer natin. So, last part na tayo. So, last example. Y is equal to square root of tan of sine of x. So, una, let's rewrite it as a tangent of sine of x quantity raised to 1 half. Since yung radical na square root equal siya sa raising the quantity to 1 half. So, mapapansin nyo, chain rule. So, dalawang chain rule uli. Series of composite. Outermost, 1 half. So, power formula. 1 half times copy yung inside tan of sine of x. Then, minus 1 sa exponent magiging negative 1 half. Then, proceed tayo sa derivative ng inside. So, yung inside ay derivative ng tan of, tan of sine, sine of x. So, composite ulit. So, derivative muna natin itong tan. Ano yung derivative ng tan? Second squared. Tapos copy natin yung inside function na sine of x. And then for the last part, yung derivative ng inside function na sine. So that will be the last part since di na siya composite. So ang sine ay derivative niya ay cosine of x. So yan guys. So simplify natin no. So yung numerator natin bale. Kasi meron tayong negative na 1 half. So, nasa baba siya. So, yung 2, tsaka yung etong negative 1 half, yun yung susulat natin. 2 times, gawin na natin ulit siyang radical form of tan of sine of x. Then, copy lang natin itong natira. So, pwede natin isulat as cosine of x times second squared of sine of x. So, yan na guys. No more simplification kasi yan na yung final answer. So, I hope you learn, guys, from this tutorial. And maraming salamat sa panonood. 